All right, guys, so this week we're going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to take you guys on a field trip, and it's something I think you'll enjoy. So you guys kick back, take a look at this one, because it's going to be some fun. Let's do it. What's up, guys? Today we got a pretty cool video. Today we're down here in sunny Florida, and you guys might recognize that logo right there. This is pretty cool. Let's take a look. We're at VIM Tools, and you guys come check out what they got. Come on. How's it going guys? I'm Louie, I'm the director of sales here at Vim Tools. As you can see, it's our little facility here. I'm gonna show you guys around and show you some products, all right? All right, let's do it. Come on over. So no. if you guys watch, if you guys check out their Instagram, which hopefully you do, this one's not as famous as Popper. So you guys <laughs> get to see Popper in a minute. Because on their Instagram, Popper does a pick. Picks a tool and that's what's on sale every week, right? <laughs> Go turn around. Turn. Sit. 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 Good girl. You so pretty. <laughs> and there she is, guys. The famous popper that mm -hmm. always does the picks to put the right tools on table. She's thinking about what tools to give you guys this month. She doesn't know. <laughs> She's like, I'm not sure. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> She's like, all right, mom, pay me. I don't have. Do you need one? You need a treat? Do you want a treat? <laughs> Mama? Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, we're going a little bit different with the line now. We're starting to change all our products to high vis green. Oh, yeah. This green color here. We have a few of our older products, which are V510, V511, our tr our toolbox tray organizers, as well as some of our wrench grippers. Just to show you guys the new color that we're coming out with, we also have our V16 uh, push pin set or push pin remover set that we switched the actual look of it entirely into high vis green and black oxide. Cool. Our W15s that are very popular that I'm sure you guys have seen in other places and if mm -hmm. you haven't gotten ready you better get them soon because they're running out. <laughs> Those wrench extenders right there, that's my favorite style. I like that better than the flat style but now oh, yeah. you guys like took it up another notch and added a soft grip on oh, it. Yeah. So. A lot of people like this man. That's, it's going cool. like crazy. You're seeing the orders come in from 10. Then 20 the next order, then 50 the next order. They just well, keep give the part up. number on that because somebody's going to want one of those. WE15, wrench extender 15 inch long. Okay, cool. So there you guys go. You got a BIM tools and check that out and order you one. This right here, this guy is our auto adjusting oil filter plier. Mm -hmm. This thing's got some mean teeth on it, man. It bites. And you see how oh, thick yeah. that is? That's four steel plates pressed together. Cool. You push into the oil filter plier, you just apply pressure a little bit on the actual neck of it and it automatically locks it's one hand application cool unlocks just like that v2400 g on this also selling fast i see you got some cool magnetic rails yes sir we've had our magnetic rails for quite a while i'm sure people some people are very familiar with it but we also came out with these in the hype is green yeah. in both your 8 your 12 and your 16 inch and your 20 inch cool I know earlier when I came in, he showed me this mat. Oh, this magnetic pad that here. That thing is crazy strong. Super flexible. People look at it like, oh, what, what is it for? Well, you keep your bits, your fasteners, whatever you're working on at the time, and it right. will bend to the actual form of whatever body you stick it on that's magnetic. But people don't realize how strong these things are. Yeah. We go to shows and we stick a 22-pound wheel hub on it, <laughs> and it sticks no problem. This thing carries some serious weight. Yeah, and again, thing cool. these things are going like crazy. I recommend you guys pick one up if you can. <laughs> Magpad LG. Magpad LG. Yes, sir. And it's green. So yes, you sir. guys love green. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What else do we got here? We got the hood props that we also switched to high-vis green. Pretty simple design. Hood right. prop, we had it. It's the V387. We had them in black for a very long time. Mm -hmm. But now they're in high-vis green. Oh, cool. Everybody likes green. That's kind of it's a very popular thing, yeah. color, man. People seem to love it. I like it. It catches the eye. It looks a lot better. It looks a lot cleaner for some reason. I don't know why, but <laughs> it does. It's I enjoy it, man. and clearly other people too do because you know the sales are going up. Are those carbide scrapers? These are carbide scrapers, yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be coming in a two-piece set, the CS100, oh, as you can see right here. The carbide allows it to not dull as quickly, obviously, mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about 
That's cutting the like crap out of yourself every time you use it. And you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. Yes, sir. It's pretty cool little set. The CS100. That should be coming out. We should be getting those for the first time in the next month or so here. Okay. Cool. I expect them to be good sellers, too, because we had a few people already put them on flyers, but they liked them. Yeah, that's good. Cool. And yeah, I got the little wrenches. Those are oh, cool. the little finger wrenches. Yeah. Yes, sir. So this set right here is coming in your 7, 9, 8, 10, 13, and 11 millimeter. This little finger ratchet gets you into any tight spots, so pretty simple concept, but it gives you a lot of clearance right. that other things would not give you. That's cool right there. Multiple sizes. All right, well, guys, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit outside, and then I'll show you the new facility we're going to be moving to because we've actually outgrown this one already in the <laughs> short eight months that we've been here that's awesome that means uh if you're growing you're doing something yes sir right? it's you know it's that's the name of the game you want to grow it or what are you doing <laughs> see it. all right guys this is where the nitty-gritty gets down to it this is where it happens you got your packing stations here this is where all the orders come in to pack and you got pallets every day hundreds of packages every day that we're shipping out Right now we're in the middle of an inventory count so that we can actually have everything set and ready to go when we decide to move, which will be the next month or two at our new facility that I will show you later. So, as you guys know, we do a lot of private labeling. We also have a lot of our own brand. And this facility here is where we moved everything from California as soon as we took over the company. But in the short, I believe, like I said, eight months that we've been here, we realized that business is growing at a rate that this building will not contain for very long. So due to that, we are moving to the facility I'm about to show you. Okay. I know there's a lot of tools in here. This is a big building and you guys got it full. So. Oh yeah. It's, it's pack loaded because we don't just do one thing. We've decided that we're branching out into different niche markets to try to cater to different customers, not just specialty hand tools anymore. Right. And I mean, it's gonna be a slow growth, but for instance, the oil filter pliers, we used to not focus so much on things like that. We had a basic oil filter plier set, and now we're kind of expanding into specifying different types of markets to give a customer a different feel for Vim Tools. Mm -hmm. Because Vim Tools is known for, oh, their bits are great. Oh, they have a few sockets. They don't have much of anything else, but pretty soon here, we're trying to change that opinion of people. Super expanding, oh yeah. We're gonna have a lot more room than what you saw in that little office. We're gonna have more room for expansion, that's a good thing. Hopefully I'll outgrow this place in another two years. There you go, hopefully. We're gonna take a look inside. Let's do it. All right. So it's not done yet, but right here is gonna be obviously the front door, and above it you're gonna have a massive Vim sign so that anybody from the street's gonna recognize exactly what building this yeah. is and who's working here. That's cool. This is going to be the office space right this here. This is oh, enormous. Man. Holy cow. Yes, sir. This is cool, man. So down here, you're going to have, obviously, where you walk in. it will be your front reception area, HR, uh, customer service, and uh, county department. It's all going to be down here. The staircase will be going up here, and then upstairs, you'll have our sales department, our marketing department, as well as our massive oversized showroom so that we can bring anybody <laughs> here and show them a little bit of what we do. That's cool. Yes, sir. Man, this is a big warehouse right here. Oh, this yeah. is, and there's a lot of room here. This is where we're going to put all that product that you saw wouldn't fit in that other place. Yeah. <laughs> this is, that's a lot of room right here. Oh, yeah. How many square feet did you say this for? I believe the outside gets up to 17, 5 or 18,000 square feet. A lot of room in here. Yes, sir. A lot of room to grow. We're also very, very tall, as you can see. So there's room to go up if we run out of space sideways. <laughs> well, man, I definitely appreciate you taking the time today to show us around and show us the brand new facility and show us some of the cool tools. No problem, man. That's what we're here for. Me off camera, you got some pretty, pretty cool stuff coming out. Several new products. Oh yeah. Next year, so. So keep an eye out because for the next foreseeable future put it that way we plan on coming out with six to twelve products a year wow. so anywhere between one every two months to one product every month is what you guys should be seeing from us as, as, as long as stuff overseas gets handled with the, <laughs> all the raw material shortage and stuff I'm sure you guys are in fact seeing it also yeah. things are taking forever lead times are growing and everything but trying to get a handle on it ordering early so that we have product normally again all right there you go like always guys check them out on Instagram appreciate it guys and that way you can know what's coming and you know, you don't want to fall behind, you want to know what's coming with them. 
But like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, yes, hit sir. the thumbs Keep up. Keep an eye out. You go on our website and you'll find our newsletter that you can sign up for. It'll give you all new product information. When everything comes out, it'll send you press, uh, newsletters so that you guys can see everything firsthand as soon as it comes out. There you go. Like always, guys, hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Thank you, guys. You guys have a great week. We'll catch you next time. See ya.